Yeah, so welcome back again. A lot of us have been hearing of Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 visa. We don't know anything about Kazakhstan. We have no bother to research. So now, I had a chat with uh, one of my friends in Kazakhstan. He's in Amati. Amati. You understand? So, I was asking him some questions about Kazakhstan. How is that place? You understand? So, through the questions that I was asking him, I'm going to be reading some of the answers that he gave. He gave some really, really, he, some answers that will shock you. That nobody is even talking about on YouTube at all. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's saying the truth. All these fake, fake agents. Nobody's saying the truth. Open your eyes, oh, photo. May you know what the apple for Kazakhstan before you go fly for before you go fly go there. You understand? So I'm going to I'm going to be reading some of the um questions that I asked him and we are going to be seeing some of his response. Including um the question I asked about his uh, about um the citizens, how you can marry them, their women, um language, how they see blacks, um and some other things, sir. You understand? So stay tuned and um don't bother don't forget to like and share don't forget to like he started share. so now he started off by saying kazakhstan is to russia what canada is to us it's a very huge country almost three times bigger than nigeria but less than 30 million people they majorly speak russian and are within the russian sphere of cultural influence which means that they are still being controlled by Russia. They are still being controlled by Russia. Russia is still controlling Kazakhstan. Mm, that they still speak Russian. Okay, and I asked him that, how do they see black people in Kazakhstan? And I said, uh, it's a place you will go and feel like you are in a different world. English will become obstinate and everybody looks different. Black people here are a novelty. So you'll be stared at everywhere you go. He said that um, if you are a black person in Kazakhstan, people will be looking at you, people will be staring at you. That ah, black person, wow, ah, ah, they'll be fascinated by, by you. Black person like you and me. Who will be fascinated by you? <laughs> but that's what he said though. So um and I asked him about residency and um source of income and uh, uh, he now said if you have a legal residency and a good source of income in his view is better than lots of western countries that if you have a legal residency in kazakhstan in his view it is better than a lot of western countries kazakhs the, which is what they call a uh, citizen of Kazakhstan. Kazakhs are known for their hospitality and they are majorly Muslims. Hmm. And I ask, how about their females? How, they, how about their women? Can you marry their women? Can you marry their citizen? So Ina said, they, their women are very feminine. That uh, they don't practice all these feminist um you get family is really important to them and they hardly marry and you can hardly sorry and you can hardly marry their citizen not because they are racist but because their parents won't let you leave kazakhstan with their daughter Ewo. not because they are racist they are not racist in kazakhstan but their parents the parents of the girl won't let you leave kazakhstan with their daughter with their peking Yee. Voila. so he now said and i asked him what of the language uh, russian language uh, is it i asked him what of the language is russian language not too hard he now said if you can learn the language and integrate you will love it it's truly a beautiful country that he has a friend here yeah, i have a friend here in amati he always visits Western European countries and comes back to Kazakhstan. He loves it here. He is Kenyan. 
is an English teacher. He lives here in Amati, two streets away from me. Hmm. He said, make sure you go legally. Integrate and respect their culture and laws. No be the one way they do for Dubai, you. No be that one way they do for Dubai, where they carry cutlass, they carry match, they do it, who goes there? <laughs> no, that one, no. Then you will come to love it. If you like horse meat, it's a typical food here. Yeah, that is there. It is typical food there. Choose Amati. It's like Lagos of Kazakhstan. And most importantly, it is warmer. That is, it is warmer in Amati. Hmm. Hmm. It's very, very interesting that, uh, that he said. Uh, he said a lot of things. He really said a lot of things about Kazakhstan, you know. Horse meat is their favorite uh, delicacy there. And um, I, I, I asked him about uh, crimes. Uh, you know, crimes, uh, petty crimes and... Um, um, petty crimes and stuff, you know. <laughs> we have to know about all these things. There's no way that uh, we don't know about all these things. We need to ask. Those are the, some of the things that some of us need to ask. It's not about asking how is the eyes also there? Can we also the eyes accommodation? How much accommodation? Uh, these things, crime, uh, how did they do? Uh, you get it's very, very important. So, hear what you want to say. Yeah, listen to what he said. Though. He said, I have been to six of their cities here, including the capital, Astana. And one of their smallest cities, Temi. And I can tell you, it's not a place to make it big like you dream of. Now, he in the deal, he said that place no be place where be say if he even blow self. In the year. Aside that they are struggling here economically, they are not so friendly to foreigners. Before he said that they are hospital, uh, hospitalable. Now he said they are no longer friendly to foreigners. Hmm. Which I blame to Onga. Because the first day I arrived here, my car was broken into. Maybe it's cab or car. He says car. And a female colleague was mugged. Hmm. When she tried to react, she noticed they were just hungry kids looking for their next meal so she let it slide hear what you want to say now there is high hardship in the country here that even if you try to succeed as a foreigner the struggling locals may not be happy about it so even if you try to st struggle as a foreigner in kazakhstan and you eventually make it they go vex for you they go change that for you they feel even come bust you with all these things, like as they did for South Africa. They feel even come mug you, carry all your goods for your shop, carry everything for your house. <laughs> you get. You have to be very, very careful. Kazakhstan. He said a lot of things. He really said a lot of things, but I just picked some of the most important things that uh, will be that nobody is talking about at all nobody's talking about you understand nobody's talking about ah if you find this very educative please click the like button click the like button before i go and click the like button you know it really helps you know i've changed the episode i've changed the where i interact i think this is better i know that some of you like it i've been getting some responses that you like this personal touch you know so um he said, it really said a lot of things and I will stop here for today because some of these things I cannot mention it here until the next topic so that I will not choke the time frame you get. So if you find this very educative, very helpful, don't forget to click the like button, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Remember, you can mind a citizen, no, but make sure that you are even well to do, you are well to do. That for their parents to even allow you to carry their child, their picking away from Kazakhstan. 
because they believe that no other place would be better for their picking to live well to live where well. one carry that picking go nigeria when they know say nigeria now nah, pass you get so you get make sure you are legal within the country make sure you stay in amati make sure you are legal make sure you are legal make sure you build connection Make sure you build connection with not Nigerians. Forget about Nigeria. Make sure you build connections. Oh. Remember, flights to Kazakhstan can be high as 1.2 million naira. Flight, only flight, 1.2 million naira. Sit down there now. They play. 1.2 million naira for flights. The other time, uh, last month or last two months, flight we are booked for one of my subscribers. Was it not now that 50,000 naira? We are shocked. <laughs> now that 50,000 naira. So, flights now, when I checked, before I did this video, was 1.2. More than 1.2, slightly more 1.2. I'm telling you. So, B2 visa is available. If you want, you can contact me. Um, B2 visa is a uh, tourist. Uh, you cannot work with it, but when you get there, you can convert it. You can convert it to uh, employment visa. Yes, you understand. I also have a Moldova um, link. I have Moldova link. If you're interested i will drop more details as time goes on sha yes so don't forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe thank you and god bless you i'll see you guys in the next one